If you go to the back of the store of End of the Rainbow Alternatives in Farmington, you'll find a nifty thrifty store called Odd Trends, owned by Audrey Flynn, and she specializes in reselling vintage clothing. What gave you the determination to create Odd Trends? Well, I've been thrifting my whole life. Um, my mom raised me and my sisters on secondhand clothing. Um, when you're young, you kind of got made fun of for that, but now, in 2023, it seems to be the cool thing to do. Um, so once I started realizing I could make money on this stuff, I started selling online, casually, and it worked out really well. How do you get the clothes? Because I, I don't think you have a secret sweatshop under here that makes all of this, so you have to get it somehow. What do you do? Um, I go to Goodwill, Salvation Army, yard sales. I really like the messier the better. I feel like I find the best stuff at the messier places. As, as a lot of people know who watch me, my biggest dream is to become a model at the back of a health store next to the stripping pole over there. <laughs> now, Audrey, I want you to do a whole makeover on me. I need something that says like, I'm here, I'm present, and I'm ready to be laughed at. So okay. could you help me with that? Then after I'd like something, you know, a little more casual that I can actually pull off. Okay. You think that would work? Yep, I have All the right. perfect thing. Let's do it. So Audrey, what do you have here? Um, I have this early 2000s tribal-ish dragon flame button-up for you. This makes me look like an emo guy fieri. I don't know what else you'd expect to do <laughs> this, but... Besides thrifting, I upcycle pre-existing items. Um, so I might buy something and put trim on it, for example, like this. Or, Straight from the Barbie movie. Yes and like I use old doilies and incorporate them, so, and tie-dye things, so very sustainable and making something old into something new. This is something I'd like show up to like at my divorce here. <laughs> this is, I love it. It looks, makes me look absolutely great. It does. Suits you well. It, 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 no, it doesn't. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of look like, it even has the dragons at the bottom. I kind of just look like those, like the weebs, the weeaboo people <laughs> sit there. I just practice my rust and go from like Naruto. So I really love finding beautiful dresses. This one, stuff with beads and lace. Um, I really love silk. I think that's the dress that Princess Jasmine wore in Aladdin. Yes, very similar. I love a lot of 90s and early 2000s velvet. And then I have some more old ones like 60s and 70s, oh my like gosh. this strawberry dress. Strawberry shortcake. Yeah. Them. That's a really nice one. Yeah. You take a lot of pride on some of your t-shirts here. I mean, it looks like it's the Hall of Fame the way you hang them up. Why are they so special to you? Um, well, I just pick some that are more special than others to hang on the wall, but I have a bunch more. So we have a couple Grateful Dead from the 90s. That one, Dark Side of the Moose, I just thought that was really cool. This one over here is there's hidden eagles in that t-shirt. So it's like find the seven hidden eagles. Oh, it's like yeah. Where's Waldo with the shirt. Yeah, um, so I just really like unique, funky, old t-shirts. <laughs> Especially the one with good old Reba McIntyre. Yep, I love old country singer t-shirts for sure. How do I look? Um, you pull it off. Pull it off like I should pull the clothes off and try something new or what? No, I'd say that's good. Do you think I'd get bullied if I wore something like this? I hope not. You'd hope not? Okay, well. <laughs> Hello, Shirley. Do I look great in this, by the way? I love it. What's, what's your favorite part about this whole outfit, besides me? <laughs> the t-shirt. Thank you. Do you play for mushrooms as well? <laughs> you do, because you sell some of them. I want to thank Audrey for helping me do this, and I want to thank End of the Rainbow Alternatives for making this possible. Please visit Odd Trends at End of the Rainbow Alternatives and Shop Old Soul Collective in Waterville. Again, thank you, Audrey, for helping me. Thank you, End of the Rainbow, for letting this happen, and I want to thank you guys for watching. Again, please visit Odd Trends in Farmington, Waterville at those stores. Thanks again for watching, and take care.